Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem sub array product less than k. So you are given an array of positive integers nums. Count and print the number of contiguous sub arrays where the product of all the elements in the sub array is less than k. So this is the example one where 10, 5, 2, 6 and the k is 100. So if we try to generate all the sub arrays one of the approach like naive approach generate all these arrays and check their product is less than k if it is then increment the count plus plus increment the count and return in in the end the count so if we try to generate all these arrays so we can do like start from the 10 all these array one is 10 itself then 10 5 another is 10 5 2 and then 10 5 2, 6. So, if we see this product is less than 100, this product is less than 100, while this product is not and this is not. So, we will break here itself and this from the summary is starting from the 10, we are getting 2 summary. Similarly, we will start from 5, 5, 5, 2 and the 5, 2, 6. So, all of the 3 is the valid and then this will sub count 3. Then we can have 2 and then 2, 6. So these are both are also satisfying the property and the last is 6. So this one is 1. So total we have 2 plus 3 plus 2, 8 subarrays whose product is less than k. So this way similarly this line of code we can put in the code as well using two for loops and pause the video and try to code it as a brute force approach. So here is the code for the Brutus approach. So one like I started a variable left which will track the left pointer like starting from that left and how far right we will go by starting prod always one and then checking multiplying this and checking if prod is less than k continue keep continue it and count plus plus whenever we reach this then we will break this inside for loop and then we will try from the next index. So if you see the time complexity of this solution, we are using two for loop nested to each other. So n into n, which is O of n square. The time complexity of this solution is O of n square. And if you see over here, the length of the array is 5 into 10 to the power 4. So if we do the square 5 into 10 to the power 4, and if we square it, this will become very big number, which is 25 into 10 to the power 8. So hence, this solution will be definitely time out. So now what can we improve to solve this problem like better than n square time complexity. So first of all this is also giving us a hint like the number all the numbers in our array is in between 1 2000 there is no 0 and if we multiply like if all the numbers is 1000 and we have 5000 50 thousand numbers then we multiply this will become 5 into 10 to the power 7 which is less than integer max. So if we multiply all the number itself so it will be under the integer max itself so there is no end overflow if we multiply each number and if we divide a product by any numbers so because we don't have any zero so we can feel free to multiply and divide the numbers so how we will optimize the solution so let's say we have a window from here to here so let its starting point is left and this window point is let's say right. So if this window has a product P which is initially itself less than K, now we are going to add another number. Let's say after this array, after 6, I will add another number 3, let's say. So what are the cases? There can be two cases. So case 1 is if we multiply the new number P into let's say new number is X. If we multiply the new number x, this is still less than k. If this is the case, so how many extra subarrays we are getting? Like every subarray itself, because the overall is less than k, then each subarray, if we multiply this at this k, is uh, less than k. So let's say we have 5, 2, 6. So if we add the new element 3, so this will add one subarray with this 5. 1 with 2 to 3 and 1 with 6 to 3 and 1 is itself the single element single element array is also a subarray. So hence this adding new element is adding how many subarray 1 plus the end pointer the right index 
minus the left one. This is from the number of subarrays contributions from the case one. And the case two is this product, if we multiply the x with p is greater than k or equals to k. So in that case, we need to update our window left pointer, this window left pointer to adjust it to move it right for when until when when the product is greater than or equals to k we will divide the product by every time the left pointer number so whatever numbers on the left pointer here and we will do left plus plus so we will divide and we will keep this so now let's understand if we have this p initial product of these three number is 5 into 2 into 6 which is 60 and now if we add 3 which will become 180 and which is cross the 100 so we have to shift so the le left from index left initially let us say on index 2 1 this will go to the 2 and the product will become 2 into 6 into 3 which is 12 into 3 which is 36 and it is now less than 100 so adding 3 after this index this will contribute the index of the right uh, right minus this case we will fall into this case so ha so this is approach pause the video try it out code it out so let us implement the code here so for code we need to check if let us say k is 0 it is given it here 0 then we will not have any product less than 0 because all the number is greater than 1 and also if k is 1 then there will be all product like all the number are greater than or equal to 1. So hence the product is always 1 or more than 1. So hence we can put the base condition here. If k is less than or equals to 1, then there will be no solution just return 0. Otherwise we will is left from 0, right from 0 as well and the count which will be track the counts and the product prod initialize from the 1. Now we will run a while loop while right is less than until we process all the element length then we will multiply prod with the new element which is prod equals to uh, nums of right and then now we will also check until if the prod is greater than equals to k then we will divide prod y the nums of left plus plus if that done then we will update the count y how many element is one itself plus the right minus left so this is the count will be updated and in the end we just return the count so this is a simplest implementation let us try it compile it our code there is a index bound of exceptions, index 4 out of bound exception for the length 4. So here if you see, so we will, we are starting from right from 0 and this will go nums right. So here the problem is I have not incremented the right counter as once we done for the current right we have to increment the right counter as well. So let us see now it is working. Let us submit the code and it is accepted. Now the worst case time like right will go till the length of n and this left is just proceeding along with the right. So hence the time complexity of this solution is O of n. Here n is the length of our num sorry and the space complexity just we are using this constant four constant hence constant. So if you like my solution, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.